Vingegaard has been left on his own on this climb. Wout wow, van Aert is heading for the stage, but it's this rider is heading for the podium of the tour. At this point, it's up to Vingegaard to defending that yellow jersey. He doesn't need to push the pace. This is a wonderful climb. He crack him. Karapas and Uran, who comes from Glingor in the west of Denmark, as he now fights in the get... tour. Tadabagacha looks like he's working really hard here on the wheel. He's rocking and rolling. He looks like he's, he's looking. Great. He's going to get rid of Pagacha. Jonas Vengegaard has cracked Taddy Pagacha on the yellow jersey. You could see that Taddy Pagacha was starting to strain there. He was struggling. He's never... Vengegaard, no one has considered that this young Danish rider has it in the legs to win the Tour de France. Let alone... With a moment like this with only 5.3 to go. The reasons um, because of that right hand tack want to use the, the kind of other teams to their advantage. Um, still a bit to go, five kilometres. But and still see. Trek hanging on and, and not imposing themselves just yet with Aberastori and Tolok. Attitude uh, using that pace and uh, Milan still here. The big guy the race is on uh, to try and get uh, to this uh, the, the, as safe as possible into this hairpin that's coming up right now, Brian. Today, here's your left hander. This will be about two kilometres to go. The race is now absolutely on to get to this track. Yep, they're still waiting and nobody can strike out for the moment so uh, and still kicks on this is fantastic now Milan wants uh, to, to embed himself in this race and in sales pie only now then past finger go and this is Frele's kind of terrain he's kicking on here brilliantly so and then plots kind of ramp and it's it's hellish out there this is uh, 10 12 and more percent no, um, but ah. he could be holding on to that uh, GS I think that's in the back of his mind given <laughs> it absolutely here and it looks like he may well be uh, his day today Finger you go looking absolutely fantastic can he possibly impose himself Milan's got 25 meters to go my goodness what a battle this is for the line are we going to see something very very special here finger go takes it oh fabulous racing finger and that is Tish Benut and Roglic they have started the assault on the yellow jersey and immediately Taddy Pogaccia and put Vengegaard into the yellow jersey or put Roglic there instead nine kilometers to go Pogaccia now has no teammates. Roglic right now is moving up and an attack on the left-hand side. An immediate attack by Vengegaard oh, as he is a huge assault. Jumbo Visma are trying to rip this Tour de France apart. Then I'm going to rip your legs off. Tade Pogaccia attacks hard. Um, GC and here he goes attack. again on the right. Big attack of Jonas Vengegaard. I don't he remember goes. ever seeing no. this. In all the time I've watched the Tour de France since I was 14 years and of age. And here he goes again. An attack now from Roglic. Pogacar straight away onto the wheel. Another attack of Roglic. God, have you ever seen a stage of the Tour de France like this? Non-stop action. Going for glory. Going for yellow. The yellow jersey has now got to fight today. They've attacked and attacked and attacked. Pogaccia, is cracked. the lights have gone out. Col de Granon that cracked the legendary Bernardino has cracked. He's six seconds. He started the day 39 seconds. Stage 11 of the Tour de France of 2022 will be remembered for generations. Incredible proportions. But the man with the courage the man with the aim of the yellow jersey takes the stage. What a win, Jonas Fenger. Rider from AG Tour Citroen going solo for the first time in his Their career of the peloton. Jonas Vingegaard in there for the Jumbo Visma squad, the Tour of the Rest, Nick Schultz in pursuit. And Vingegaard up and onto the shoulder of Lutsenko within the final 250 meters. First victory of 2021. The second time that Jumbo Visma have won in two assaults on Jebel Jais. His advantage overall, Adam Yates third across the line. The agony and the ecstasy for Jonas Vingegaard, famous victory for Denmark.
We thank His Excellency RF Alawani, the General Secretary of Alabama. Time now cracks Michael Woods on this steep climb to the top of the Col de la Colombia. Last time it was the Col de Pre, Naira Quintana takes 20. Officer sprint behind Sergio Higuita now. It's time, 10 points in the pocket. Vengegaard has him on the limit. He does. Can Vengegaard crack him? He's looking. Jonas Vengegaard is the first rider to crack the yellow jersey. And now Taddy is going to say to him, well, you tried. But I now Vengegaard will make sure there's no split. Well, Poles looks to be getting set for the attack as Michael Woods goes. Vengegaard is fighting. So is Carapaz. Iran cracks now. Rigoberto Iran has cracked on the climb. And Vengegaard is struggling to get on the wheel of the fast-moving Ecuadorian eagle as he wins the stage behind his finger guard. What a return! He's going to end up in third place over the top and puts a gap between him and Michael Woods. The ball, 15 seconds, 14 seconds. The yellow jersey turns the corner, stage, which he is now not going to do. The stage will go to Wout Van Aert. But turning the corner, he can celebrate. He can so it as he, who will ride tomorrow into Paris as the winner of the 2022 Tour de France. Jonas Vengegaard finishes second on the day. Wow. Could just see when he got to the rise there, when I saw the smile of his face, I said, that's it, he's not going to commit to the line. Greeted by his family on the finish line, Jonas Vengegaard tomorrow will try his flag into Paris to be the winner of the 109th Tour.